So my name's Scott, and I'm joined today by Christian, Josh, and Sam, who are here to speak a little bit about their ECE capstone design project. In fourth year, you have to take a course called Elect 490, and it's a full year design course. It's very open-ended. You're allowed to use all the skills you've built up throughout your time here at Queen's in electrical engineering to build something or make something tangible that you can show people at the end of the winter semester. So what we built here is an audio tube amplifier. So what happens is you will have your audio signal either from a phone, computer, record player coming into this device here and this will be sitting before your speaker and actually amplifies the sound before it goes to your speakers so it's something you can hear. What makes this project unique is the fact that we use vacuum tubes. So vacuum tubes are the predecessor to the transistor, recently been replaced due to the large power consumption of these things and their physical size. However, the, the sound is very desirable to high-end audiophiles. The very first thing we started with was the power supply that makes use of this transformer here and provides all the power from the wall outlet input to the circuit. Um, the second step was we found an amplifier design online that was similar, but this isn't just a hobby project, we're not just copying it, so we actually changed the design. Um, so we had to design this pre-amplifier stage here that uses this tube and provides most of the gain of the circuit. Then this big tube here actually provides most of the power for the signal and connects to this audio output transformer, which finally connects to the speaker, and that gives you your audible sound that you can hear at the end of it. On the right half of the amplifier that you see here, is the power supply. So the power supply is necessar necessary for driving both tubes in the schematic. So the power supply connects up to both of them individually. Right here is the small tube that is mounted on the front of the chassis. It connects to the power supply. The power supply also connects to the large output tube on the top of the chassis. Then the output tube would connect to the output transformer, which in turn connects to the speaker terminals, which then allows you to connect to speakers, which is where you hear the audio output. So Sam, what would be the next steps for this project then? Well, so for this project, because we do have sort of a limited budget as part of a class, um, this is just sort of a proof of concept of design. So generally when you do audio, you have two channels to give you stereo audio. This is just a mono block. So this basically gives you one of the two channels that you would want. So ideally you would actually have two elements like this. And um, to go even one step further, you would take the power supply here and have that as a separate unit entirely removed from your actual speakers that you just sort of plug in to prevent it from interfering with the rest of the uh, circuit. Thank you.